Hey everybody, welcome. This is Pam at the Paper Outpost. Do you want to make some tiny book trinkets? These are so much fun and they are super tiny and they use up scraps and they all work a little bit differently, but I wanted to show you some tips and tricks. These are super easy. Anybody can make them. And let me give you a little tour of the prototypes. Here is a one little uh, junk journal that is so cute. It's actually a little journal or journal-like um, item. This I planned on hanging from a spine dangle or from the uh, journal wrap that I used to uh, close a journal. I think that would just be so cute on there. Um, and they're very, very easy to make. Um, the first one that I made was this little guy and these are all in the range of one inch to one and a half inches tall to maybe an inch wide, maybe a little wider. That's it. But they're very small and um, uh, you don't have to have great eyesight and they're very easy to make. So don't be intimidated about the size at all. And you can use anything to cover them from pretty book pages to digital kits to um, uh, and magazine pages, anything that you have that um, oh, scrapbook paper will work well as well. Um, now let me show you this little guy. So this little guy obviously has an eyelet placed with a little chain and a jump ring. Okay. And that's what he looks like front and back. And his cover comes from Botanica Exotica. Let me show you the, the inside looks like that. And like that, kind of pretty. And it comes from this one. I'll put the links down below to any digi kits I use. But like I said, you don't have to use digi kits. You can use uh, so many other things. The, the whole idea with the cover is you want to use something that's just a little bit thicker than regular paper um, for the um, that cover like feel. So you have a little bit of weight to it. This one was used from um, where is it? Antique leaves. And here's what I cut it off of this picture. I just cut the top of the picture off and I was using that. Um, or the bottom of the picture, not sure, but it just kind of had some old, cool, um, vintage or, or antique illustrations on them. And I put a little, um, stamp on it and, um, here's it inside and it's a completely functioning book. The pages are different sizes. You can have the same size pages. You can have different size pages. Doesn't matter. And, uh, I'll show you how to create this little guy. Very quick, very easy, very fun and uses up scraps. Okay, this guy uses the same concept, except I went ahead and added a little tassel so that he can be hung either from the spine dangle or from the book sash or from a, a as a Christmas ornament or a gift tag. Wouldn't that be the cutest thing added to the front of a gift? I mean, dingle dangle, that would just be adorable. Um, so let's jump in and make a few of these. They're super easy. Um, okay, so the first thing you want to do is we're going to make our innards first. So if you have strips and we often get these strips when we're making junk journals and uh, this is a great way to easily use up these strips so I'm just going to grab some uh, relatively similar size it's okay if they're not the same size and I'll show you some tricks about how to work with that um, so here I'm just going to pull some out and just get some that are relatively the same size okay so, and I'm just going to align them all together. And how many, how many you say? I would say probably um, one, two, three, four. I think like maybe like, let's see if I do maybe eight pieces of this because we're going to fold it over. So that's going to make it a little thicker. Okay, so I have this, right? I have one, two, three three, four, five strips from, this is 11 inches long. They're just regular paper sheets. I'm just going to put all this stuff over here and then I'm going to fold it in half. Okay. So I have all the little ends down at one end here. It's like a little spine at the end. And I'm just going to crease that. So it keeps everybody in line with the bone folder. And it would, I, I don't know if I said it, but I'll put all the links to any of the digi kits that I used below um, in, in the drop down description box in case you're curious. Um, okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make my actual spine. So I'm going to fold it again. I'm saying to myself, this is my real spine over here. Okay. Hello, real spine. It's nice to meet you. And I'm assessing for thickness. Are you thick enough? Well, let's take a look. Let's see what we have here. I would say this will show you closer. This is like a chubby wubby, middle of the road Sam, and this is a skinny Sue. Yeah, but I think they all look great. Where's the uh, little 
chain gang one. Where'd you go? So small he escaped. Where could he go? Couldn't have gone far. Well, he's gone. <laughs> he was cute while he lasted. I don't know where he went. There he is. All right, this little guy's probably the skinniest. Yeah. Um, compared to this guy, he's, yeah, they're pretty comparable. Maybe, maybe this one's skinnier. I don't know, but there you go. Not many. But I used anywhere between, um, uh, I would say, eight and ten little pages when you're done. So just kind of figure out your math. But I used, say, five long pages, and then I'm folding it in half, okay? I seem to be getting a lot more pages with this way, but we'll just see how far it goes. Math is not my strong point. Uh, I just go by feel. This one, I would actually say, is probably thick enough. But, um, well, let's make a super thick one. No, let's make it thick enough. Okay, say so five of these long strips. Let's just roll this back for a second. Okay, five long strips. We fold them all in half. And then we fold them all in half again. And we're saying this is our spine. Okay, so now what I want you to do is cut it over here. Um, to me, a book generally, not always, but um, is longer this way in height than it is in width. So I'm saying, okay, that's that tall. So I want to go a little narrower than that. So I'm going to maybe go to here. Yeah, I'm just going to cut it. Mm, there. Didn't cut it so straight. You can use a craft knife, probably get a bit straighter cut. But these aren't so thick that you can't cut with scissors. I mean, it takes a good strong scissor to do this, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Okay, so now we have that. And now what we're going to do is we are going to take the center and we can sew it. We can do a three hole pamphlet stitch, a two hole pamphlet stitch, or just a one hole stitch. But I think for just for simplicity's sake, I thought this is just a cute little novelty item. I'm going to staple it. So I'm coming in with a Tim Holtz teeny tiny stampler, um, a tiny attacher, I think that's what it's called. But you could use a regular staple here. And I put the staple on the inside, um, the smooth part, and then the feet on the back because we're going to cover the back. Okay. So this little piece is a little thicker. I would recommend maybe just a little thicker here. It doesn't have to be, but it's, it's helpful because it's going to make your cover seem a little thicker. And then just take a pretty piece of paper. So what, what do we got hanging around here? Let's see, looking for a pretty piece of paper. Okay. So I have, I happen to have some Edith Holdings sitting here. She's too short. We need a piece that is at least as big as the book. Well, here's another piece. Let's see if you qualify. Oh, you might be in. You might be in. Yeah, you're looking good. And uh, don't worry if it's if it's not matching exactly, exactly at the top, because we have a way to deal with that. I'll show you. Okay, so here's the deal. Your cover should stick out at least that much farther than your book. I would say that's maybe half an inch at least. Okay, now go ahead and take your cover in your hand or on your glue mat, because you probably have one, and I can't find mine for the life of me. Um, it's hiding and you just glue. I'm going to use a glue stick. You could use any glue, but I'm going to use Scotch Create glue stick. Permanent glue stick. If anybody's curious. I love this glue. Not sponsored. Um, okay. So now what you do is you just put your book in the spine area where you want it. Okay. And then you just give it the old squeeze. Yeah. And you just tell it to become one with the book cover. Yeah. And then, or with the first pages, now you're going to open it up and you're going to take this and you're going to fold it in. Yeah, and that's going to give you a nice sealed little edge. Same thing here. You can do a mild adjustment. It's okay if there's a little trimming needed. Don't worry about it. Remember, I told you we got a little trick coming. I want to show you the trick. Okay, but first, but first, we're going to do a little fancy foo-foo. And that is by adding a little bit of washi tape. You don't have to do this and you could use material or you could use another piece of um, paper if you want to, but I just want to uh, add something to that little edge right there to conjoin the two pieces. I just think this will look really cute. Okay, so now we have something that looks like, like that. Okay, so we have sealed down that little flapperoo and uh, this is just extra accoutrement. Yes, nothing, nothing to get excited about. Artist's choice. Okay, so we have that, and now we have that. Okay, now to give it that little more booky look, that little like just got home school book look, um, well weathered book like thing, we're gonna take our old friend. Oops, I should back up so you can see. Sanding block or sanding sponge, whatever you want. It probably depends what kind of part of the country you're from. But you're gonna take this guy, and you're gonna rub it up. Yeah, and, and, and be, be, you know, like, let it know who's boss. Here we go. There we go. Yeah, get in there. 
and it'll it'll bring uniformity and a nice soft velvety suede type feel to the edges of your little beautiful book trinket yeah yeah um, I don't do the spine. You could do the spine, but I tend to, it just feels so good if you could just like, just like soft velvet suede. So cute. And it also makes it very receptive to a little inky dink. And we are going to come along with the old walnut stain. And here we go. Just going to ink up these edges because they're going to absorb it like crazy because they're all porous and dry. I'm going to get the spine really good too. Make it look super old and it's a good I, I don't know I think it looks very attractive if you ink the page edges as well I think it makes it look very weathered and old and very mysterious little book of some sort we have here I can actually turn it around because our book pages are oh, that's kind of a pretty cover right there isn't it all right so we're just inking around and then you might want to come in and ink the inside cover as well just to give it that total old world Victorian age. You came from a long time ago sort of look. All right, there we go. And maybe we want to put a little stamp on there. And I'm gonna see if I can, oh, I, I think I used the love word September. I like that and I should still have it here. There, no, that's the heart. Okay, well, no, I don't want the heart. Oh, where's the September? Oh, is that it? Yay, I found it. Okay. I have a September um, stamp. So let me go ahead and just put this on here. Hopefully that twig won't cause a problem. Oh, maybe, maybe I'll put it this way. Yeah. 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 Okay, there we go. September. Yeah, so you can doll these up any way you like. And, uh, oh boy, look at that. It's a lot of messy ink. Better get on top of that. Okay, you guys can't see that mess. Phew, thank goodness. Um, okay, so we have book number one. And the more you kind of play with it and flatten it out a little bit, um, you know, it's just, it is a actual functioning little book. Totally in its own right, it is a book. And, um, you know, you can write little things in here, like little secret notes, or you can, like I said, turn them into something that would hang from a spine dangle or from a... Uh, closure sash or um, make it a, a Christmas ornament. Just so cute. Okay, so let's make another one and I'll show you how to put this little loopy loo in there. This is very easy. Okay, so first thing we do is we start off with a bunch of uh, uh, papers. Okay, so I have some pre-cut over here so we don't have to wait for me to shuffle the papers. Um, I think there's five here so I'm folding and that's ten. Maybe I need an extra paper or two. Let me stick a little more in there. And you can like fix, you know, they, the pages can be torn. They don't all have to be cut. Torn pages look very cool in old books. A lot of old books have that tornish sort of edge and it's sort of, it's very pretty. It's very pretty. Uh, so don't shy away from that. Nope, nope, you go right in there and you, you use that torn look. Okay, maybe you're gonna work too. Okay, I'm gonna stick you in there. Where do you wanna go? There, in the middle. Okay, there you are. All right, now let's cut you to a little shorter than you wanted to be. No, longer than you want it to be, sorry. Here we go, longer than we want. And then we're going to put stamp, uh, we are going, okay, let's, we have different uh, width ones here, so we're going to do the stagger. Um, so I'm gonna put this one low, this one high, this one high too, because it still shows, and this one low. And that way we're kind of covering, spreading the wealth, we are, maybe I'll put you in the middle. You're kind of cool because you're torn. And then there we go. Okay, so now we fold it in. We make the big commitment now. We give it a super duper crease with the bone folder. And we make sure that we are aligned. And now we are going to cut our dimension. And again, our dimension is usually longer here, shorter here. So longer here, shorter here. There, okay, so there's a little tiny book shape. And then again, we just find our middle. Where are you, middle? Hello, middle. And uh, using the teeny tiny, tiny attacher. Very easy to do. Oh, I made a book, look at that, brilliance. <laughs> Very easy. 
and uh, let's find ourselves a nice little cover. So I did have another piece of, oh yeah, I have more of this fuchsia. I actually dropped the uh, black lid on it, but I think it looks kind of cool because I am going to monkey it up with my um, beloved finger painting. So what I want to do is have at least a half inch over here. And when I open up my little book, doesn't matter if it's in the middle, but you want at least a half inch on either side. Okay, so then just trim that. And then you want to trim this flush with your bottom, not your bottom, the book's bottom. Okay, and uh, it's nice if these are straight. Oh, we got a, I got a thundery night here. Yeah, in old Florida, it's a thundery, rainy, typical August, getting ready for hurricanes kind of night. Yeah, that's what we do. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's kind of I like I like thunderstorms and rain. I think it's nice, it's relaxing. Okay, so now that's the outside of my cover. So far, what are you eating? I can hear chewing. What is that? Oh, you got a, what is that? Hold on. Yeah, he found a scrap. Yep, it happens. Okay, so I have this glued and now I'm just gonna place this in the middle. Uh, oh, in the middle, Pam. That wasn't a very good middle. Okay, that's a better middle. Okay, and now we're gonna close it up and we're gonna squash it. Okay, and then as the cover adheres to the first pages, I'm going to quickly open this up because remember I have those two little flaps. I don't want those to glue together. I just wanted that first page to really grab it. And then I'm going to fold these over. These come together so quickly. It's, it's, it's just way too fun, too easy. I don't know what to tell you. Um, <laughs> okay, so anyway, that turned out to be my back, but there's my front and we can work with that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I'm going to come along with the world famous sanding block and you can also use a um, an emery board if you don't have a sanding block uh, that will work too or sandpaper will work on a block or or something like that if you have sandpaper you can do it basically it's, we're just sanding the paper that's what we're doing yeah okay now let me show you close with that see it gives you that nice soft like worn edge of a well-loved school book yeah, that's what we like. And um, I'm going to ink it with the Distress Ink. Could have done this one in black, I guess. They don't all have to be in brown. I'll emphasize this one in black. So I'm doing all the edges. And then I'm going to try and get in there to get the pages. And there. Just gives it that little old world sort of look. And I'm going to do the inside. I totally forgot to put the string in. Okay, guess what we're going to do on the next one? We're going to do that one properly. Yes, we are. Yes, because this time I'm going to pay attention. We, I, we, you, you were saying something, weren't you? You were saying, wait, put the string in. I heard you. I heard you. Okay, all right. Let me uh, put my glasses on and we can see what's going on here. Oh, yeah, we have time. Okay, so we have just made another adorable little book. And, and, oh. Get yourself organized here. Um, so this, this, okay, this first one, I have a whole string of bling. This little guy, I cut some bling apart. But let's see this guy. Maybe I'm going to put a little bling in each corner. Maybe that's what I'm going to do. I don't know. I'm just playing with the bling. You know, there's no rules when it comes to bling. You can bling however you like. We get four little bling dots. What are you eating? Oh, the knob on one of my drawers. That's okay. You work on that for a while. I don't think it's going to make any progress on that. None. None. <laughs> Yay. That'll keep them occupied for a little bit. All right. Let's see here. Okay. Here we go. Let's just put, where are we? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to put a little dot. This is Fabrifix glue. You could use any glue here, but this is a nice strong glue. Okay. Okay. Now this I usually say fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, paper to paper, but this is plastic, so, you know, but it's just a little bit. Yeah. Well, that looks kind of pretty all in, in one little place. Well, we'll just have to overdo it because that's what I do sometimes. There we go. Now we're doing it. It's like it has legs on the front, but that is kind of cute. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And there we go. Okay. All right, so we have this little book and he is all done. So let me make another one quickly um, and I will show you. 
how we can do the, uh, the, the dangle thing, which is very easy. Okay, so I'm going to grab one, two. Oh, these are pretty. Yeah, I really like these. These are, oh, sorry. Um, these are from like the edges of book pages, and they're just so soft and velvety and creamy already. Three. Oh, well, that's pretty. And maybe one more of comparable width. Show yourself now to me. We have a little, we have a little music page. That would be very nice. And are you of the right width? You may be a little wide. So we will just shimmy you down. Yes, we will shimmy you. There we go. Okay. So let's put him on the outside, maybe. Arrange these as we see fit. Okay. Now we're going to fold. Okay, get everybody aligned, folding, folding. Okay, squashing, bone folder. Okay, is that thick enough? I'm gonna fold it over one more time. That'll give me twice as much thickness. Now I got a nice little chubby little book there. Yeah, that's nice. Ah, I'm back in my, back in my element. Okay, so longer than we want. Um, I don't know why, it just it feels too committal to cut it first. I guess I could staple it first and then I could just cut it once. That would be more effective, okay. Don't let me forget what we're doing this time. Okay, here we go. Okay, on the inside, I'm gonna put the smooth part of the stapler. Okay, so there we go. We are all attached, nobody's going anywhere. So now I'm going to commit to width, which I decide you are going to be this wide. Boop, there we go, and they go everywhere. Okay, so now we need a cute little cover. And where's our little cute little cover page? Oh, here's one. Well, we got some of this. All right, well, let's just cut off a little piece of that. I had another piece floating around here that was really, oh, there it is. Yeah, let me use this one again because it's got all these little condensed images and I think they would work out really well. This is from Botanica Exotica. So I am just gonna cut a strip of this off. So any pretty paper, I mean, you could even use wrapping paper or something like that. If you have a thick enough piece on the outside here to wrap it around, that would work. Um, so let's figure out how wide we are. So let's cut our width. For, oh, we need, we need half an inch on either side. And we want to make sure we have the right height. Okay, that's good. Cut this here. Okay, get our glue. Here's our glue. Can you see anything? Good grief. Be nice if I left an area for we could all see. There we go. Sunny, what are you doing? You being a good boy? I'm always a good boy, Mom. <laughs> I know you are, son. I know. Okay, we're gonna put this down in the middle like that. Okay. And then we're gonna fold it upon its own spine and give it the big squasheroo. Now, I'm getting ink from my fingers on this, but that's okay with me because I'm going to ink it up anyway. But if you don't want inkiness on it, don't use inky fingers. Okay, once that's pretty much adhered, pull it apart and make sure you get to the first page, which is the music page here. So I'm going to fold that over, squash it down, nice and inky. That, fold that over. And that's not the, is that the music page? No, no, you are not the music page. I see you, music page. You are hiding hiding from me. There you are. Now you are in where you should be. Okay, so now I have the little book and that's the basic construction. Very easy. Um, what else? Okay, here we go. Let's get our sanding block. And I'm, I'm pretty forceful with this, you know, I mean, I, I could get carried away sometimes, but don't be shy when you're sanding. Just, just get in there and really make it look like that old school book you had when you were, you know, eight years old, dragging it back and forth. Gosh. Um, okay, where is the ink? Okay, let's try black ink this time because we haven't tried that. Here's black ink. And there's my black ink dauber. This is black soot color, if anybody's curious. Any black ink will work. You could even use makeup and things like that. And, uh, I'm just going to ink this. Okay. Honey, are you down here? Okay. 
I just heard uh, Roomba kick off in the other room, and we have to do the what I call the Roomba dance, where we have to run up, get up, and get all Sunny's little pads <laughs> out of the way so they don't get sucked up into Roomba. That's not pleasant. Okay, all right. There we go. So we have this little guy, and we can do him on the inside too. <gasps> I did it again, didn't I? Oh, you know what? I don't think this glue is dry. I'm just gonna take it off. Can I get it off? Isn't that the most ridiculous thing? You know what? Yeah, that's bad crafter, bad crafter. Is it too late? Is it too late? Let's see. Let's see if she can get, get this. Oh, I don't know. I might have to salvage one page just to show you guys. Let's see if I, I can get the cover off. But I don't think I'm... Okay, let's just pretend it's one less page because this music page is now part of this. That's right. There it is. Okay, so now what we're going to do... Who didn't remind me? Sally, what were you doing in the back? Hmm? Sleeping? Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Go back to sleep. All right. Now here, what do we have? Oh, we have a little red one this time. This is a embroidery floss. And I just took it. Let me, let me, okay. Okay. I just took it. And, you know, whatever the traditional length is, you don't belong here. Go away. And uh, I'm grabbing this. And I am grabbing it by its little legs. And I'm, I've doubled it. And then I'm going to double it again. Okay. And now all I'm going to do, I need more glue. Hello, glue. Let's pretend that book page isn't stuck on the cover, but it's just the cover. That's what we're seeing. Just the cover. Well, this is a wonderful video, isn't it? I'm going to put most of it at the top. And oh, oh, what? Please. Hello. Go away. I don't think so. No. Okay. Let's zoom in. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to lay it down. That's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to leave a little tail out the bottom and you can trim the tail. The tail doesn't have to remain. It's just there. And now we're coming in with what we did before. We're just going to open this up and lay it down right over all that whole clumperoo. Just squash it on there. That's right. And then close it up. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to come in, hopefully, and fold that in. Come in here. What can you see? Sorry. Fold that in on the last page, which is... What's going on? Okay, there we go. I freed it here. And now we have this adorable little dangle. Look at that. How cute is that? I mean, you know, hey, that can go places. You can hang that from a tree easily or hang it from a spine dangle or hang it uh, from a gift tag. Um, you could tie a little knot in it here. Let's tie a little knot in it to say we did. Uh, Maybe close down by the book, so it's not so all over the place. Oh, that's cute. See, now that that just like that brings it home, right? And and maybe I might trim this so it has a little more of a tassel look. I don't have my fabric scissors over there, and a little tassely on the bottom. There we go, a little tassel. Who doesn't like a little tassel? All right, maybe a little shorter. That's a little long. Oh. World's dullest scissors. Okay, there we go. There we go. Little tassel and everything. And then we could go ahead and put our... Um, I mean, if you like that look and you don't mind that... Okay, here's another thing. If you've never done this, you can do this. Okay, here I have, I have yellow. Just because it's here. Right, this is the one I was going to originally use. Um, but you can take... Fabrifix. Anywhere you have a, a place where, let me zoom you in so you can see, because this is this is delicate surgical work here. You anywhere you have a, a joining area where you don't like the join, just put a teeny tiny little bead of Fabrifix, and then you come on along. You just lay a string. You pull the string taut, and then you lay it down, and, and it gives it the cutest look. I'm telling you. Um, okay, red and yellow. Oops. Oh, oh, this thing is stuck here. Okay, I've got glue all over the place. Okay, here, let's do this one. Oh, I'll just come around the back and do you too. Fab fix. Little tiny. This is where the Sugar Bells icing piping bottle allows you to get that skinny stream because we like our skinny streams in the crafting world. Fab fix people, can you please make it a smaller uh, end, you know, opening there for us, we crafter people? Okay, here we go. That was a request. I'm just going to trim. Oh, I'm not getting anything I shouldn't. Okay. OK. 
Okay, Oop, coming around here. Or you could even make a little purse or something. That would be cute too. That's for another day. We'll do that another day. Uh, okay, come on. Come on, baby. <laughs> Cut to mama. <laughs> there we go. All right. So now you have this cute little look, right? Who doesn't love that? That is so cute. And then we have, come on. Oh, I have excess glue for some reason back here. <gasps> Isn't that, that's so cute, right? And this is a little functioning little book for all those little tiny scraps that you always wondered what, what on earth are you going to do with those? You're never going to use them all. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I'm going to maybe put a little brown on here too to soften it a little bit. The black might have been a little harsh. Um, maybe I went overboard. And did I do the insides? No. Okay. Just lightly. I have no ink on here. Okay. But it looks, it looks good, right? I think so. <laughs> just, just lightly. I know you're probably saying, no, don't touch it. It's fine. You don't put too much on. Okay. Well, it happens. It happens. Okay. What? Hey, it's only paper, right? I mean, you know, hey, I got a tear. What am I going to do? Um, here, I'll make a shorter page. There we go. Yeah. The first page is just very short. That's, that's the way the book was designed. Totally on purpose, right? Yep. Okay. So there you go. I hope you had fun making these little guys. I'm going to try and put them all in my palm. My little dirty inky palm so you can see them. Um, what do you, yeah, no dranglers. So here's the two we made. They're so cute. Here's probably the biggest one I made. So maybe I have to back up a little bit. Okay. I got, I got, I got a string stuck to my hand. Okay. Go away. Go away. Oh, come on. <laughs> then I have this. And then I have this guy. And look, they all fit. Here, I'm going to stick my finger in, my finger in my mouth again. <laughs> my foot in my mouth. But they do. They really do all fit in the palm of your hand. So if you find these um, adorable little book trinkets and you want to make these, feel free to jump in. I'd love to hear your comments on these. These are so much fun to make and a great way to use up scraps. So have at it, everybody. Paper lovers out there, go forth and create. Create from nothing and create something. And my, remember that my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. Please sign up for my free monthly emailed newsletter and you'll get a free digital image emailed to you monthly along with a note from the bookmaker, a checklist of supplies, um, updates from me, and junk chip journal tips. And join our Facebook group, the Paper Outpost Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun over there doing weekly and monthly challenges and seeing what you guys make from these videos. And... Um, and I'm, and I'm, oh, I've got an Etsy shop. I do have more fundals in my Etsy shop. I have just restocked more and uh, you guys are keeping me hopping in. Thank you so much, very much for all the very kind reviews on the fundals. Um, I truly appreciate that. And uh, thank you for uh, those of you who are doing multi purchases. I, I, um, I'm tickled pink to know that these papers are going to good homes. So thank you very, very much. And um, you can also find uh, vintage digi kits in there, which are printable downloads and also um, occasional bundles which are collections of different things that I put together for sale and also journals when I have them for sale. And you can, uh, I also have an Amazon shop where you can find favorite tools and supplies if you're looking for them that you see me use here. And also um, uh, you can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. And remember all the links to everything I've mentioned are in the drop down description box below the video. And if you find value here, please like, subscribe, and share and click the notification bell. And remember the fun can be simple and little and create with reckless abandon, everybody. Can't find Sunny for the life of me right now. I know he would say hi, but let's let's just we'll see him next time. All right, take care, everyone. Bye bye.